£66,000 may not get you a lot in terms of a new motorhome these days, 2023, but it does get you this. It's a six metre long, low profile coach built from Mototrek. It's the Explorer FDB with FDB standing for fixed double bed. That's at the back. It's got a massive washroom. It's got a good size kitchen and it's got a short lounge at the front. Let's go and have a closer look. There's the slightest of colour mismatches between the Peugeot boxer cab here and the bodywork, but I think that's forgivable under the price circumstances. It's a coach built body, as I say, overall length is only six metres, so that's why it looks taller than it is. It's only actually 2.89 metres high. It sits a little bit high off the ground, hence the electric step you get here as standard. And then you've got a typical habitation door with a fixed uh, double glazed window. Windows are flush fitting, that's a nice premium touch. Wheels at all four corners and that bodes well for performance and handling. And then the awning is standard as well, as is a solar panel up on the top. Now these Peugeot boxers are like old friends for me for driving. Uh, this is the 140 brake horsepower engine and I've just covered the best part of 500 miles in this particular model. It's performed really well. A little bit of struggle going uphill on occasion, especially long, slow inclines. Otherwise, it's perfectly good in terms of its overall performance. It'll cruise most of the time at 70 miles an hour. Manual transmission only, six speed, but it's a nice, easy gearbox. And of course, there's power steering these days as well. Usual Peugeot features, air conditioning is standard, twin instruments in the binnacle here. The stereo system includes Bluetooth connectivity, and then you've got the centre console with the two cup holders down below. An added bonus, thanks to Motor Trek, is the reversing mirror, and you can use this for driving along as well. This is the Explorer Lounge, and as you can see, this is very different because it has the, just the one inward facing settee here, a short settee at that, and then both cab seats swivel as is the norm. In here, there's a tripod for a freestanding table. It does sit a little bit higher than it should do. Good views out from the lounge. You've got the window here, you've got all the cab windows, etc. of course. And then the opening sunroof overhead. So you've got lots of daylight coming in and lots of LED lighting at night as well. And then an added bonus as standard, you get a TV and it's up there on the wall. Perfect for watching from either of the cab seats. This is a two berth motorhome, of course, and what you do get across the back here is this pretty comfortable fixed double bed. It um, just extends beyond the usual six foot by four foot boundaries. You've got a window either side, although it does impinge slightly on the overall bed length. So a nice touch would have been to have the window set a little bit higher, possibly. The bedroom itself um, separates itself from the rest of the living quarters, thanks to padding to all three sides. You've got the sunroof overhead and a couple of lockers as well. A couple of open shelf areas either side of those lockers. Reading lights either side, although typically you would sleep with your head at this end. That's because there's a mounting bracket for a TV over on this side. One other big advantage of this bed, the way it's set, you've got ladder access to make it easy. And then that leaves lots of storage space below, accessible from either side on the outside for a, a, not a full size garage, but certainly enough garage to house your outdoor seating, tables, barbecues, all that sort of thing. Not quite big enough for bikes, unfortunately but good comfortable bed, easy access to the rest of the, the van as well. Um, you'll get a good night's sleep here. This is a well kitted out kitchen, but I would question its lack of worktop. What you do get is under here, stainless steel circular sink. And then under this one, the cooker has a three gas burner hob and a combined grill and oven. This is a neat touch, just the slide out main sockets and USB portals. There's a little bit of worktop here and a little bit of worktop here, but obviously if you're gonna do your washing up, 
you're going to have to close this lid and make sure that um, everything is cooled down in order to do so. You get a compressor fridge as well, and then loads of storage. So as well as the Russell Hobbs microwave oven, two good sized overhead lockers here, unshelved. A tall locker here, which really should be shelved and is unshelved. And cutlery drawer, another locker, two more drawers and a locker here. So very well kitted for storage, a little bit lacking in worktop, but perfectly workable as a kitchen. So for a six meter motorhome, this is an absolutely massive washroom. It really does dominate the middle of the van. Access is via this timbre door, comes all the way back, and the light comes on automatically as you do that. Just inside, got a swivel bowl toilet from Dometic, that's the one with the ceramic bowl. There's a countertop basin here as well, and then a fixed shower in the middle of the two. A uh, GRP wall across the back, and, and a lined wall here. Quite a large shower area, but you pull a curtain around for showering in. Just the one plug hole and just the single skylight as well. So uh, no window as such, which would have been a massive bonus for a washroom like this. The only storage is this locker under here, but you do get a soap dish and a toothbrush mug holder. And then there's a fixed mirror on the wall as well. So loads of space. That's the key thing about this washroom. Plenty of good detail work in the Explorer. The awning handle is clipped just inside the door, very handy. The electric step switch, again, is at an easy height for getting in as well as coming out. The locker down there uh, houses all the circuit breakers and fuses. And then up here, you've got a rather neat couple of reading lights, uh, touch on, touch off, with a nice little nighttime setting as well. Concertina blinds to the rear windows whereas the cab has the more traditional blinds to the sides and across the whole windscreen. So you get good nighttime blackout. There was the opening sunroof, wind, winds open, but then there's a roof light over the kitchen and then a roof, further roof light over the bed itself. Plenty of other little touches. The lockers, good storage. There's storage in this base, it's clutter free. Uh, you've got USB sockets here and here, so a bit of an overload of USBs, and a double USB portal just beside the bed as well. Okay, so we did find a few little anomalies with this particular model, but you can forgive a lot at that price of £66,000 for a brand new coach-built motorhome. It's the Explorer FDB, it's from Motor Trek, and it represents a heck of a lot of value for money. <music> <laughs>